So make yourself nice and relaxed and comfortable. And as you do so, just close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, I would like you to gently engage your imagination and imagine that with every in-breath you can breathe in relaxation. Breathing in relaxation into every single muscle of your body. Breathing in relaxation into every cell of your body. Just letting go and relaxing deeper and deeper. And with every in breath, becoming slightly more relaxing than the last. And in the same way that you can breathe in relaxation, you can let go of any unnecessary tension or stress. With the out breath, letting go of anything you no longer need. And allow this to become an unconscious process. Breathing in relaxation. Breathing out anything you no longer need. You can be aware of all the sounds around you, whether that's noise outside or voices or sounds, or stomachs. You just know that these sounds are unimportant, so you can just disregard them in your own way. Just allow them to help you to relax deeper and deeper and allow them to help you concentrate. Concentrate on the sound of my voice. My voice which is going to help you relax deeper and deeper. And now think about relaxing every muscle in your body from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and you may soon begin to sense how very comfortable your body is feeling, allowing yourself to feel completely supported so you can simply let go and relax. Begin now to let all the muscles in your face loosen up especially around your jaw area. Maybe even move your teeth apart a little and let your tongue settle gently and easily. Allow that feeling of relaxation to move into your temples at the side of your head. and relax the muscles in this part of your head for as energy follows thought. So as you think about relaxing these muscles, so they will relax. Let them relax. And now they are relaxing. And as you settle, so you'll drift and float into deeper and deeper levels of total relaxation and allow all of the muscles in your forehead to relax. Feel those muscles smooth, smooth and calm and imagine your eyelids feeling so comfortable, so heavy and relaxed. And now that feeling of relaxation can flow further down into your body. So let all of the muscles in the back of your neck and shoulders relax too. Imagine the warmth of the sun shining down upon this area of your body and warming up your neck and shoulder muscles. And if there is any unnecessary 
necessary nervous tension in this part of your body as the muscles get warmer and warmer so the tension melts away and feel those soothing warm sensations go down your back down down to the lower part of your back all these muscles simply let go as they get warmer and warmer. And with every breath that you take, just feel your body drifting down deeper, deeper down into total relaxation. Let all your muscles go, relaxing more and more. And feel any warm sensations flow from your shoulders down your arms, going all the way down through your elbows, your forearms, your wrists, your hands, and all the way right down to your fingertips. And your arms feel so heavy so heavy and so comfortable, so relaxed. You may feel that you can barely lift your arms, they are so relaxed. And as you inhale once again, just allow your chest muscles to relax. And as you exhale, feel your stomach relax. You breathe freely and easily. Relax all the muscles in your stomach. Let them go. Just let them go and relax. And allow this relaxation to flow down, down into your waist, and all the way down into your legs. Feel your leg muscles relax, your upper legs, your lower legs, even your knees and your ankles, all the way down, down through your feet, down right down to the tips of your toes. And just notice how very comfortable your body feels, just drifting deeper, deeper and deeper down. And as you relax in deeper and deeper, just allow your breathing to fall into its natural state of flow. I want you now to see yourself at the top of a beautiful staircase. A beautiful staircase with ten wide steps leading down. Leading down to a doorway. And these ten steps are the ten steps that are going to take you ten years into the future. 10 years into the future where you will see where you are living. So now I want you to start walking down the stairs, each descending number taking you further into the future. So you take a step down one year into the future take another step down, second year into the future, take another step down, three years into the future, another step down, four years into the future, another step down, five years into the future, Another step down, six.
six years into the future. Another step down, seven years into the future. Another step down, eight years into the future. Another step down, nine years into the future. Another step down, 10 years into the future. And the door that you have reached is the door to your front door. It may be the same place you are living now or it may be a completely different place. Just get a sense of what this doorway looks like. If it's where you're living now, has the door changed? Is it a new door of a new property? Just get a sense of this door, what color it is, Maybe a number or house name. Maybe it has a glass panel in it. Maybe it is just a normal front door, wooden or double glaze. You've got the keys to that door in your hand. So you now place the key into the lock and you unlock this door. As you unlock the door, you pull the handle down. And you step inside into your house, the house you're living in 10 years in the future. Do you step into a hallway or into a room? What colour are the walls? Is there a carpet? Just get a sense of hallway or a room that you have stepped into. And I'm now going to give you a moment or two to explore the whole property. You can explore all the rooms, get a sense of what's in those rooms, what furniture, if there are other people there, pets there. Sounds there might be. And just allow them to come to you in whichever form is easy for you to understand. Whether that's images or sounds, colours, scents, or just a knowing. I'll give you time now to explore that house, that flat, that property where you are living 10 years from now. As you explore this house, you 
make your way back to your living room. As you walk into your living room, you notice your television. May be the same television you have now, or it may be a different television. It may be on the wall, it may be freestanding. And you decide that you're going to sit down and watch the television. So you sit down on your chair or your couch or your settee and you settle down and you switch it on. And as you switch on your television, it flickers into life. And you notice that there's a program on and the program is a documentary relating to the year 2020 to 10 years ago. And this program is going to tell you all about that thing that happened 10 years ago that was known as a pandemic, something that was called COVID, COVID-19. And you start watching that program and it's gonna go through the history of where it came from, how it started, what happened, Just allow this documentary to go through the events. It started March 2020, 10 years ago. And the documentary is going to go through everything that happened. and how long the pandemic lasted, how long people weren't allowed to socialise for, whether they found a cure or not, whether people just carried on. Just allow the documentary to unfold and you're not questioning it, you're just allowing it to unfold as you watch it. And it may be the presenter is someone you know, or a voice you don't know. But I'm now going to be quiet and allow you to watch the whole documentary in full. And when I next speak, the documentary will be over and you'll know what happened, what the outcome was, and how it no longer exists now.
soon the documentary is going to finish. You've got all the information that you've needed. So I'll give you a few more minutes to tie up the end of the documentary. As the closing credits roll on the documentary, you think back to 10 years ago and all the fear and worry that was going around. And you know that from watching that documentary, Things have so much improved. And that there wasn't really anything to worry about. Now you switch off the TV. As you switch off the TV, you stand up. And you take one last look around your living room, noticing the furnishings, any pictures, knowing that this is where you are going to be living within the next 10 years. And you walk towards your front door. And you open your front door and as you step outside, you close the door and you lock it knowing that in 10 years time, if not before, you will be walking through that front door once again. And in a moment, you're going to walk back up the stairs. You're going to be walking up the stairs from 10 to one. Each number from 10 to one will be a year coming back to the present. So start walking up the stairs, 10 years. Walking back up the stairs, nine years, eight years. Coming back seven years, six years, five years. Remembering your whole experience, four years, three years, two years one year and you take a step back at the top of the stairs and you're back in the current time back in the present fully here you need to wiggle fingers and toes make sure you are fully back fully present just move get yourself back if you need to drink water please do drink some water 